guys, welcome to another look at video. Now I'm going to be taking a look at this thing. This is the Mega Drive uh, Mini, I think they call it. Um, I know this is old hat. I mean, this is, I think it came out about, I don't know, a month ago possibly, but it was my birthday and my girlfriend very, very kindly bought me this. Now, I was kind of in two minds about whether to buy it or not and Mr One Boy's post he convinced me to get it he did say it was probably the best mini sort of console thing that's been released uh, released to date so here it is I've not opened it he did say to me do an unboxing he says it's a thing of beauty so here we go Meg excuse me Mega Drive Mini Ultimate Computer Game Console now I was basically too old to get bought a Mega Drive for my Christmas. I mean, I was an adult when this thing came out originally. Um, so I was a very, very late adopter of the Mega Drive. I didn't get one until about maybe 10 years ago, something like that. But from what I gather, this was kind of what the original box looked like, you know, with the uh, Sonic the Hedgehog on it. It does feel very uh, weighty. And there's just the usual guff in it. All the, the T's and C's and the warnings, etc, etc. I can't even read that. It's way too small for my poor eyesight. 40 classic games apparently, plus two bonus titles, which I've got no idea what they are. Attention, Chez. I'm even going to attempt to talk French because I don't speak the language. Mega Drive, the ultimate computer game console. On the back, here we go now. I can hardly read these. In fact, if I take my glasses off. I might be able to read them, no I can't, that's even worse. <laughs> Doesn't matter, I'm not going to go and read them all out. But yeah, there's apparently 40 games in this thing. So yeah, without much further ado, let's crack this thing open. Right, what have we got? So right, here we go, we've got the usual instructions, Mega Drive Mini. No idea if I actually like the original instructions, don't know. So what have we got? We have, is that a micro or is that a, is that a C USB adapter? I'm not quite sure. How many of these has everybody got? I've got literally thousands of them. Right, it's a micro one, that's fine. Got tons of them kicking about. <laughs> And we've got a U an HDMI cable. Got loads of these kicking about as well. And here, what can that be? That's a mega drive. What will this be? Ah, this will be the controllers, eh? Of course it will be. Oh no, wait a minute. <laughs> got it wrong, right? There we go. There is the beast. Right, wow. Now you know what? I just want to put that there for a second because I actually have a USB adapter, uh, or a USB, whatever you want to call it. This will be interesting. A USB port thing, and this is... <laughs> this is a USB port one. That actually looks pretty damn good. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, it certainly looks like a mini Mega Drive, it's got this thing which I'm going to take off. It's got the little bit at the top, obviously nothing goes in there. It's got the volume, I don't know if it actually does anything. You've got on and off, and you've got a little clicky reset button, don't know if it actually does anything. You've got the two USB sockets in the front, nothing in the side. You've got the power in, USB, sorry, HDMI, and nothing on the back underneath. Nothing now. I think this little bit here is just for authenticity. It doesn't actually do anything. Well, I'm not even going to bother opening it up. Yeah, it's nice to see that Sega. So it is actually an official Sega product. So that's it there. And in here, I am assuming, is going to be two of the game pads. Now, Mr. Alan no mates. I'm just going to take out the one. Got to say, that does feel, it feels very, very Mega drive -y. Now there were two uh, versions of this, you had the 6-button one, which I think was really used for Street Fighter, and then this is the original 3-button one. Joypad, this feels a wee bit, 
It's slightly cheaper plastic, but it does feel quite kind of clicky. Yep, start one, and obviously it's USB. So that is it, right, I'll just let you see it a wee bit closer. Yeah, it looks nice. It's what a Mega Drive should look like. So yeah, let's uh, fire this bad boy up and see if it's any good or not. Right, okay, you switch it on, and this is the screen you get. Now apologies about me shouting this, because I'm sitting at the other side of the living room. Uh, I've got the camera right across at the TV, so switch it on and you get a nice, obviously sharp picture of the HDMI and everything. So let's pick English. So is it going to be plan E? I'd imagine it would be. So what have we got? Alec Kid, Alter Beast. Turn it down a bit more. Space Harrier 2, Thunder Force 3, Ghouls and Ghosts, Golden Axe, Alicia Dragon, uh, Toe Jam and Earl, Sonic the Hedgehog, Strider, Castle of Illusion, Combs, Wonder Boy, uh, Kid Chameleon, you know what I'm reading about because you're perfectly, you're perfectly capable of reading it himself. Super Fantasy Zone, Sonic 2, Echo the Dolphin, Road Rash 2, Landstalk, I've never heard of that one, Shinobi 3, Shining Force, Gunstar Heroes, Oops, it is a Deeps of Rage 2, World of Illusion starring Mickey Mouse, and Street Fighter 2 Special Edition, excuse me, Sonic Spinball, Dr. Robotnik's Mean Machine, Eternal Champions, Castlevania, Dynamite Heady, oops, Light Crusader, The Story of Thor, Fantasy Star, Probotector, Earthworm Jim, Mega Man, Comic Zone, Vector Man, Virtua Fighter 2, Monster World 4, Darius, Tetris, is that it? I think it is. Okay, so, yeah, good selection of games, I mean, there's, there's quite a lot of games that are missing, but I don't know what the, the script is as far as hacking this, I would imagine uh, it's going to be pretty easy, I mean, uh, I think, is there a an SD card adapter or something? I'm not quite sure actually. I would imagine there probably is. So settings at the top, let's jump into settings and see what that is. Please read this before playing or we don't want that line. Screen settings. So we've got what is that? Ah okay, so that's a sort of four by three ratio. And that's full screen. We'll stick with that, go back, wallpaper, whoops a daisy, what was that? What was that? I've jumped in it. Staff credits, wallpaper settings. Right, okay. I think I'd probably rather turn that off to be, to be perfectly honest with you. You need all notices. So I think that's kind of it. I don't think there's anything else. Yeah, you can put them in the genre, uh, number of players, or at least they stick with 80s, I think. So alright, let's go for, what we try, let's go for, we'll go for Sonic, if we can find it. There we go. Game start. <clears throat> During gameplay, hold start to save, load or return to main menu. Alright, so you can actually save the game, that's pretty good. Now I didn't notice any, are there any sort of uh, CRT effects? Oops. I'm just trying to see, like, like load, save. No, there doesn't appear to be any, any sort of like screen effects. Which is a bit of a shame. I mean, the SNES Mini has got them, and I've got to say, I think it's quite nice. I mean, this is on a, I'm playing this on a 42 inch 4K TV, and it does look really, really nice, but it's always nice to have the sort of the CRT scan lines. It does kind of give quite an authentic view. This is a game I've never actually managed to get off the second screen. 
No, I tell a lie, I've got, I've got as far as uh, Dr. Robotnik, but I've never actually got past it. <laughs> Now, I'm assuming this is running under emulation. And some people get their knickers in a right twist when it comes to emulation. They think, oh no, it's not the real thing. You know what? Emulation has come on so far in the last 20 odd years. I mean, in the very early days of emulation, yep, um, you know, it wasn't the greatest, but now emulation is just spot on, so I don't really see what the big issue is. As you can see, I am completely fine to this game. <laughs> but you know what I love about these mini systems? It's the fact that they're so easy to plug and play. Because I mean, I've got a, I've got a proper Mega Drive upstairs. I've got the Everdrive cartridge, and you know, it's excellent. It really is. It looks beautiful in the CRT TV. But here's the thing, that system could at any point stop working. Then you're back to going on eBay, picking up a second hand Mega Drive that may or may not work for a year, it could just fall over and stop working at any point. These mini systems are now giving us the opportunity to basically enjoy these games, you know, way in the future. And that's why I think these mini systems are wonderful. You know, what's not to like about them? Yeah, you get the purists, you know, like I said, that will moan and grumble about it's not the real thing, but these original machines, unless you're a clever person and you can, you know, you can do recapping and all that kind of stuff, I certainly can't do that. So if my Mega Drive or Commodore 64 or whatever stops working, I'm screwed basically. You know, I've then got to try and buy another one and then end up in the same predicament. So these little mini systems, it's a really, really good way to enjoy the classic systems. You know, you can just plug them in. I mean, I've got, I've got what mini systems have I got? I've got the C64 one, I've got the Mega Drive, I've got the SNES. Uh, I think that's it. And I've got my Retro Pie as well. But, you know, so I've got, and they all use they all use the same HDMI cable and they all use the same micro SD charging cable. So all I need to do is plug the two cables in and away I go. And that is it, you know, there's no fanning about at all. It's a wonderful, easy way to enjoy all these old systems. Right, let's, how did we, how did we come out? Did we hold the fire button down? I can't remember. Is there a Hey, right, there we go, right, what I'll do is I'll return to the main menu. So you basically press the reset button. Quit the game, yep. Okay, Shinobi 3. I don't actually remember Shinobi 3. I loved Revenge of Shinobi. That's a fantastic game. I mean, it is this Revenge of Shinobi. No, maybe not. I think it's Revenge of Shinobi was the second one, eh? I'm sure. That guy got a tin uh, bucket in his head.
Now I'm not a I'm not a connoisseur of the Mega Drive. I mean I wouldn't I wouldn't like to sort of you know I wouldn't claim to be you know know everything about the machine or whatever because I didn't really have one back in the day but as far as I can tell from the very short time I've been playing this for this video the sound sounds pretty good but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come out of this but let me just try let's try and save it so so what we'll do is we'll go to save and then you can save one yep right, okay and then what we'll do is we'll go to the main menu and then what we'll do is we'll load up Sonic again and then I'll come out I wonder can we wait to load? no it's only so you must have that for each particular game so what we'll do is we'll go to the main menu again and then we'll go back to Shinobi and then we'll try and load up the game and see how it works See, what did that say? I actually said something there. Right, turn to main menu, yep. So back in, during gameplay, hold start to save, load, or return to the main menu. Alright, you hold the start to save. Right, okay. So if I hold down start, there we go, we come up with that, and I can then go to load. Like so, load, yep, there we go, excellent, that is really, really good, in fact I'll probably start using this a lot more than my original Mega Drive, just because I can, I can save games now, so I might actually, I might actually get to complete Sonic the Hedgehog, <laughs> ouch, Uh uh, something's coming in here. Fuck it off. <laughs> I'm completely pants. Right, let's hold and start. Yes, yeah, so you don't actually have to use, you don't have to go to the little start button on the unit itself, you just hold down the start button on the controller. Quite you see, the controller is uber responsive, which is nice. So, back to main menu, yep. <clears throat> let's try some. Was it Castle of Illusion? That was a game that people always uh, went on about how beautiful the game was. Interesting to see how it stands up now. I've got to say, really impressive that if I was to criticise it, I would say it would be nice to have the scanline options. If there's an option to do that and I'm maybe missing it, please let me know, but I can't really see anything there to, to activate at all. Apart from that, nice interface, I like the fact that you can actually exit games without having to go up to the machine, you know, so you can just lie back on the couch and just in reminisce and enjoy all these wonderful games.
you don't want him wasting all your apples. Jump on top of that. No. <laughs> yeah, probably not the type of game I want to play. So I'm the original of this game upstairs. So whoops, and is it? So fire and jump. That jumps as well, right, okay. Lovely game though, really is. second level, yeah, oh, a long, long time ago, I think this might be it coming up. Can you kind of storm? Yeah, there we go. <laughs> a lovely game, really is. Excuse me. I was actually playing the, the arcade version of this at Play Black, though. Was it Darius 3 or something? It's basically it's the one that's got huge, it's like three massive, massive screens, and I'm guessing I probably should have shot these wee guys for cover ups. But the controls feel really responsive. 
Although the actual plastic is maybe not quite in the same par as a Mega Drive controller, it, it feels absolutely fine. So, no complaints from me at all on that one. Ah, come on. Ah, yeah, it is all fire. Right. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> It's a bit difficult. Right, anyway, listen guys, that is it. That is the Mega Drive Mini. What's my impressions? I think it's a lovely little machine. There's some great games. Yeah, there's quite a few games that uh, I would probably like to have seen. Things like Battle Squadron, um, some of the th other Thunder Force games. I mean, there's a lot of games. I think there's only one Streets of Rage as well. Streets of Rage 1, Streets of Rage 3 would have been nice. But I'm quite sure there's probably a way to, to add your own games um, you know you'll find videos on YouTube for that but uh, for, I think it's 65 quid it's very well sorry, very very well put together the thing I love about it is so easy to set up plug in the HDMI cable plug in a micro USB and away you go and you can enjoy all these games that you love to play you know back in the day so yeah, definitely out of 10, I'd probably give it an 8 out of 10. So anyway guys, I hope you found this video useful, and as always, thank you very, very much for watching.